Hey guys, welcome to Digit and we are looking at the Red Gear Manta 2.1 Tournament Edition Gaming Keyboard and Mouse Combo. Now we've plugged the keyboard in and we can take a look at the backlighting features right now as well as the indicator LEDs for the caps lock, num lock as well as the scroll lock. These things tend to have a rather bright blue LED and you can see that the backlight has also now switched to blue in color. You can vary the brightness by pressing function and page up. So this is the absolute maximum level right now. We can bring it down one level, another level, and lastly, we can switch it off altogether. If you want to look at it from another angle, we can pump the brightness all the way up and then flip the keyboard around to sort of show you the backlighting and how it looks like. Now the keyboard has a metal chassis on top, as you can see, with a very slim one and a half inch long wrist rest. So you can actually rest your wrist while typing, but uh, most people might end up floating or keeping it a little backwards because uh, you need to get access for all the keys. And this does not have a spill proof design or other does it? Actually, it does. So if you take a look at the underside, we can figure out whether it has spill proof key design or not. So we don't see any holes for venting. So that means if you do drop fluids onto this thing, then uh, you're going to have a fun time. On the underside, we also see that it has uh, uh, what we call standoffs to sort of elevate the keyboard in case the actual height or the default height is not enough and there are also rubber feet to ensure that this thing does not skid off your table aside from that we don't see any additional information the cable is braided but it is not detachable so this is kind of standard with most keyboard and mice and that was it for the keyboard now we're going to unplug the keyboard and plug the mouse in so that should take about a few seconds and we have traction. Here you can see that the mouse is plugged in and there is lighting. Right now it's glowing hot pink. You can press the DPI buttons to sort of vary the LED. It's because the color is an indicator of the DPI level. So when you press the negative button or the DPI reduction button to the absolute maximum, you can see that blue is the lowest DPI level. When you press the plus button, you get to purple, then red, and lastly, violet. So blue would be 800, then it's 1600 on purple, red is 2000, and lastly, violet happens to be 3200 DPI. Now you can see there are accents on the top, as well as in the scroll wheel and on the sides for the backlighting all of which can be set and manipulated with the software that uh, red gear provides along with the keyboard and mouse on the underside we see it has skid pads two over here and one over here so this should help you glide the mouse without any friction of the surface of a good mouse pad and you have four screws to sort of disassemble and service the mouse should the need ever rise now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons on the key, uh, on the mouse, all of which are kind of standard, the left and right clicks, the scroll button, DPI levels. Uh, we don't know whether these can be mapped to any other function. And then you have the standard to and fro or other front and back buttons for web browsing as well as uh, you can have them assigned to some function within video games. So that was it, a brief overview of the Red Gear Manta 2.1 Tournament Edition of uh, the keyboard and mouse gaming combo. If you like us to do similar unboxings and overview videos of PC peripherals, please do like and share this video. And as always, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.